Hello, happy Wednesday. How's it going, guys? Oh, looks like Alfie's gonna be first. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Hi, Leah, it's nice to see you. How are you? It is a really dark and dismal day in Boston today. Um, it's very, very rainy and overcast, so not as beautiful as the days that came before it, but still really nice. Um, how is everybody doing this Wednesday and who is on with me today? Alfie wanted to get right to being the first one to be groomed. You want to look? It's okay. Are you being shy? You're a good boy. He's a pretty good boy, but as you guys know, he's a little bit naughty as well. I put up a new video the other day. I don't know if any of you guys got to see it yet, but I actually talked about some of the stuff that's in my grooming kit. And I'm really excited because I'm placing an order. So I have an online boutique and I'm going to have some of my favorite dog grooming tools on my online boutique soon so that they're easy to find um, because there really were not great links to share where I got the things from. So I figured I would just get them and have them in my own shop because I know that a lot of people have been really interested in the grooming tools. So I'm going to have some of those in my shop soon, which is going to be really nice. Hi, Karen. How are you? Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? It's nice to see you. Welcome to Yorkie Storytime Live. Oh, Alfie, don't scratch your face. Don't scratch your face. Um, guys, if you are just joining, please don't forget to hit the like button. It makes such a big difference for me with YouTube. I always really appreciate the support. Hello, Miss Tiffany. It's nice to see you. How are you today? Um, it is a really, really dreary and overcast day in Boston. I actually don't know if we're going to get to go outside today or not because my Yorkies do not like the rain. Um, how do your dogs feel about going out in the rain? Mine just would rather not. Um, and they obviously don't know that it's raining until they get out there. But once they do, they're like, that's okay. We can just go inside, mommy. Hi, Pamela. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. It's so nice to have you on today. Thank you so much for saying hi. Hi, Nicey's niche. Oh my gosh. Alfie says hello. He wanted to be the first one in my lap, but he's also looking like he doesn't want to be brushed. So he's like, I know Alfie. He's very, very sensitive. He's such a good little boy. The cat has been really, really energetic and trying to play with Alfie the past few days. And Alfie just doesn't want to play with the cat. Um, I took a video of him playing with the dogs the other day and he just like jumps on them <laughs> and they just, they don't want it. So hopefully, hopefully someday their energy levels will all match up. What are you doing back there? Poppy, come on, honey. I think I see the cat way. Oh yeah, I see him. He is, I don't know if you guys can see, but he's where the door is. He's laying in front of the door, just being so regal and so beautiful. Um, he is playing like crazy though. He has a ton of energy and I think his testosterone is probably still settling in because he got neutered. I think it was about two weeks ago now. Um, so that is happening in our house. It's been pretty quiet here. Um, my back is still a little bit funny from a few weeks ago. It's, it's much, much, much better. But, um, anyway, that's pretty much all that's going on with us. It's been a pretty quiet weekend. Um, I filmed a video the other day. I took some really, really cute pictures of um, Alfie and also Poppy um, laying in my bed. I bought a doll-sized sleep mask because I wanted to do some cute photos with them um, to promote some of my clean beauty products that I have on my website. And I thought it would be so cute to have them wearing a little sleep mask. And Alfie was like the best model. He has a little purple polka dotted sleep mask on and it was adorable. Tiffany says, my palm loves going out in the rain. I don't like it because I keep him full coat and afterwards I have to use so many bath wipes. Oh my gosh, that's so funny that your Pomeranian loves the rain. Mine just like, they can't stand it. And I agree um, after they come in, although I do wash their paws and things, I feel like they just get everything so, so dirty afterwards. 
Um, I do let them sleep in my bed, which is of course, like everything pretty much in my apartment is either white or gray. Um, and so they really make a mess of my bed. Um, <laughs> they're so funny. Um, Jennifer, the pictures came out so, so cute. Alfie was just such a good sport. And I should have gotten one on Lola too. I don't know why I didn't. I think they just, the first two just did such a good job with it that I was like, why put Lola through it too? Um, but they actually didn't even really mind the sleep mask. It is the cutest, tiniest, tiniest little thing. Um, and I think it will make for some super, super cute pictures. I also um, posed Simba and Poppy together because I had seen someone else on their Instagram did a photo of a cat and a dog and they did like a cats versus dog photo. Um, so I did that as well, which was just really cute. Um, surprisingly, I think Simba's getting a little bit better at getting his picture taken. Um, when I first tried to take his picture when he was a kitten, he just wasn't having it, but he's definitely getting a little bit better about it. Oh, Alfie, you're such a good boy. What a good boy. That's so nice. So I'm excited. I'm going to be carrying um, the combs like I was talking about, and you can actually get them in a lot of different colors. So I think I'm gonna have different colors available. Um, they have different colored band scissors available too. Um, so I have to, in order to carry them on my website, have to buy quite a few of them, but I feel like I have so many people that follow my videos and things that I'll probably sell through a lot of combs if I buy them. Um, so I think it's like a, I have to order a thousand dollars of things from that store. Um, but I do think that people order a lot of things from my links, so I, I should be safe to do that. I know that I buy these combs pretty frequently because I don't know what I do, but I lose at least two of these a year. So I'm always replacing them. Um, I often keep one like in my travel bag and things like that. Um, is it nice where you guys are today or is it also raining where you are? Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful few days in Boston. I went to the gym yesterday and on my way back from the gym, it was actually so warm that I didn't have to wear my jacket on the way back, which felt absolutely wonderful. Um, it was just like such a treat. And I worked out with a trainer, which I don't usually do, but I actually found a really good trainer at the gym. So I've been doing a few workouts with him just to get some of my weightlifting form. So it's a little bit more perfect, if you will. It was really good already, but there were just some little, little form checks that he did um, to clean up my form a little bit because as I've been lifting heavier, I just want to make sure Oh, did you see that? She just kicked the cat right off the couch. Um, but I just want to make sure that I'm um, getting my form just right. So he's helping me to get everything just right. I'm probably just doing like one training session a month or something like that. Um, I also really enjoyed it because my coach is, um, so his name is Brett Contreras. He's in Las Vegas. And so we don't get to work out together all the time, especially now with travel. Um, and so it was just nice to be encouraged by someone and just to be reminded of how strong I got when I was working on increasing my strength and stuff. Jennifer says, I was on the top line site the other day, but I will wait until you have them um, to place an order. Um, well, if you ship to Canada, that is, that's a good question. Um, I think I'll probably be able to figure out how to ship to Canada. I don't think it's probably that um, complicated, Jennifer. Um, you know, it's funny, like I was on the top line site too, and um, it's just a very simple site. So I feel like I couldn't even link directly to products, which was, it, it's just not as easy for people to find things. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and link to things. So it'd be really easy. And my website is just set up. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my beauty website, but it's like very complete and it has everything that I need um, on it. It's a little bit more organized. So I figured it would be easier for people um, to have something there. Um, Nicey's Niche says, I always check posture before my clients progress to heavy lifting. Um, yes. And I have Nicey's Niche. I've been lifting for a really long time and I have, I do have really, really good form. Um, I've been lifting since I was 18 and I'm 44 now. So quite a while. Um, the only, we just adjusted a few things. Um, when I was doing my sumo deadlifts, he just reminded me I was already bracing, but he just made me 
kind of remember to brace extra well with my abdominals um, and things like that. So all my stuff is good. I probably don't even really need training sessions, but it's just, I think for me more than anything, it just felt nice to check in with someone because I'm always working out by myself at the gym, um, which I don't mind. I like it. Um, and I know enough that I can do that, but, um, I think most of his clients are not lifting very heavy. Um, so he was definitely impressed by some of the weights that I was able to lift. And I think that made me feel good. Like it was a nice bit of camaraderie just to, just to work out with someone and, um, and things like that. So it was, it was a really, really good workout and he's a great coach. And I think I'll probably wind up sending him a lot. I have a lot of wonderful clients at the salon and they're much like me. They're always looking for someone that's amazing. So I've already sent him, I think a client or two. So that makes me happy. Oh my gosh. Um, Jasmine, it is, um, this, she was asking, is this a Kardashian's dash t-shirt? It is. So I got this, um, this shirt in, um, South beach in Miami a few years ago, several, several years ago, actually, I think I got it the cat, he's on the table. He knows he's not supposed to be, but he is anyway. Um, so I got this before I met my husband. So I think it's about like six, six and a half years old, probably. Um, I loved the Kardashian store that was in South Beach. It had such, such cute stuff. Um, so I was really sad when they closed it because it had such good stuff. So yes, Jasmine, good eye. It is from the Kardashian store. Um, I used to go to South Beach, Miami all the time um, before I met my husband, and I love it there. It's just, it's so nice. My parents actually met in Coconut Grove, which is basically right near South Beach. Oh, hey, no, 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 that's not for you. No, it's not for kittens. We've got Simba here. I might pick him up as soon as I'm done with Alfie so you guys can see him. He looks so cute and he's getting so big. He's a troublemaker. Yeah, he's a troublemaker. I clipped little Simba's nails. So every um, every week I do my own nails. Nothing special, but just something really simple. Um, Excusez-moi. Um, and then I also do Simba's nails at the same time. And he's such a good boy. He lets me clip them. Please don't eat those elastics, buddy. Um, he lets me clip them. I do his front and back claws. And I keep it so at least if he is attacking the dogs, he definitely cannot hurt them. He doesn't have any claws. Well, I guess he could probably hurt them by biting, but he's not going to hurt them. Um, hi, JW. It says, um, I'm late. You're never late. You're always on time. Just that you're here is fabulous. Um, it says, I only heard part of the conversation. I miss the gym, especially body pump. Um, have you, are JW, are your gyms open yet or are they still closed? And um, if they are open, do you feel... Do you feel comfortable going? What's what's the story with you and the gym and things like that? I think the gym where I am has done such a fabulous job. And for me, I feel like it's especially important to go to the gym. Um, just helps with all of the, um, I just feel like there's more, I'm not anxious or anything like that, but when you're by yourself more, I guess it just helps with keeping your mood as good as possible and like keeping as healthy as possible. Um, so I, I've been back at the gym since they opened it back up. I actually just did my, my comparison photos. I still have like three weeks to go on my, no, two weeks to go on my transformation that I was doing for getting in better shape, but I did my photos today and I look much, much better. Not, I feel like it's never as fast as I want it to be. So I wanted to like be fully, fully back to where I used to be. And I'm going to tilt this down so you guys can see this cute little guy more, um, I feel like I'm not quite where I used to be, but I'm in much better shape than where I started. So look at that little tongue. That is so cute. That is so cute. Yes, it is. Um, but it's definitely getting there. I've just been, you know, doing workouts on my own, recording my weights. Um, I did hurt my back a little bit, which was kind of a bummer. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm getting better. Why are you so cute? You are so cute. I could just eat you up. You're so cute. Jasmine says, do you clip your Yorkies nails or only at the groomers? We're too scared to try ourselves. So Jasmine, it's funny. I don't need to clip their nails at all. Um, we walk on pavement so much that it really like it just grinds their nails down. Um, I don't know if you live in a city or what the what it's like where you walk, but they just fortunately they they never really have to get their nails cut because they're always walking. But I feel like I would be afraid to cut their nails, too. Um, 
you know, there's actually a really good thing. So on my website, I carry these little um, nail files and they're called diamond cell nail files. So I think they're made with like real, I don't know, ground up diamonds or something. But if you go on the diamond cell website, they actually have one that is, um, I think you're able to use it on pets as well. So if you're afraid to clip their nails, you could always try the option of just kind of um, filing down their nails like a person, because I think you'll know when to stop that way. So it's nice and slow. Might take a little bit of getting used to for your dog to get used to letting you do that. But I think a dog, I mean, as long as your dog trusts you, they should definitely let you do that. Um, I think it works really well. JW says they're starting to open, need to sign up again because I, I let it expire since it was unknown when the um, faculties would open again. That's a good idea. I mean, I think it's just, it's so important to go back to the gym. Um, if, if there's anything with this whole thing, um, I feel like health is just so, so important and keeping our body weight under control and and like just taking good care of our bodies with our eating and our exercise is super important. Um, it does a lot to protect us naturally. Um, and you only get one body. So I've always really firmly believed in taking the best care of your body that you can. And obviously vanity is like my best um, motivator because I also like to look good. Um, but when I look good, I feel good. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's just great. I love the gym. Um, it's a luxury to be able to go to the gym and I'm so happy that it's open again. It is just, it's awesome to be there. Um, Kathy says, got my Yorkie four weeks ago and I'm so in love with her. That's so exciting, Kathy. Congratulations. Jasmine says, oh, glad to hear it. Our Yorkie doesn't go out much because of vaccinations kicking in. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Um, and it says, our vet said to wait 10 days after his final vaccinations. So his little nails are getting long. Um, I mean, I would say even try, you could just try if you have like a human nail file, just see if you can file them down a little bit every day. Just do a little bit. You don't have to do too much at once, but that's smart that your vet said to keep your pup in until after vaccinations are done. Um, very, very good advice, I think. Simba, Simba, I forgot the nail clippers over there when I was cutting his nails. I'm going to bring him over here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on, buddy. So Simba has been a little bit naughty. Let's see if he does it today, but he's been biting me a little bit. I think it's just a phase that he's going through. Um, he has a lot of energy and nobody wants to play with him. So I think he's a little bit upset. So he's been biting me a little bit. Not, not too bad, but um, when he does bite me, I either, oh buddy, I either put him in his room or I put him down. Cause I don't, I, look at that. I think he's ready to go. Do you want to go away? Okay. He doesn't want to stay with me. That's fine. You go back to where you want to go. All right, who's next? Poppy, how about you? Poppy's going to be next for grooming, even though Alfie's coming back as if it's his turn again. He's so funny. Um, so this month, I know I talk about just food for dogs all the time because it's my favorite, you know, kind of dog food. And I get their, their food is nutritionally balanced. Um, it's food grade. So it's not feed grade, which is not good quality. It's food grade. And I've been using their food for a long time. And um, I keep it on auto ship usually. So I just order what I want. And then they send me my order every month. And this month I looked and I was like, oh, they barely sent me any food. What's going on? And so I got on their website and um, they were out of stock of a lot of different kinds of food in the size that I usually get. Um, they were in stock in a larger size. Um, so anyway, it was a little hard to get a hold of them. They had a really, really long wait time. And I was kind of annoyed because I don't like waiting on hold. Um, but then when I got someone on the phone, she was super, super nice. And I guess they're having a lot of increased demand. So a lot of people have gotten pets. A lot of people are ordering their food. Um, and by the way, if you do order their food, guys, please do make sure to use the Just Food for Dogs link that I have. Um, all of my links are part of the way that YouTube can be my business. So anytime you can order something through a link, I am so appreciative because I usually make a commission off of things. Um, so it makes a big difference in me being able to um, spend time making videos and so on and so forth. But anyway, um, so they're getting more popular and they're also experiencing some supply chain, you know, delays, supply chain interruptions and things like that. So they were really interesting, um, you know, explaining it and things like that. 
And they actually explained a lot more things about Just Food for Dogs while I was on the phone with them um, that I did not know about. So it was it was kind of funny because I will say that I was at first just kind of annoyed because I couldn't just like call it. I think it was on hold for like 20 minutes, which just seemed like forever with that bad. Um, you know how the music for holding is always like so bad. But anyway, um, when I finally talked to the gal that was in customer service, she was so, so helpful to me. And um, she also told me, I didn't realize this, um, and I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but Just Food for Dogs also does custom meals um, for dogs. And I believe they do them for cats too. And the custom meals are really amazing because they work with a vet for your pet's special medical needs. So if you do have a pet that has very special needs, I would say that it could really be worth um it could really be worth um, getting that custom food made for them. I just thought that was such a great option. I didn't realize that they had it, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because it's not unusual, you know, whether your dog needs to lose weight or has kidney issues or liver issues or what have you. It's really nice to know that they do make those custom, um, you know, vet formulated things. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I already loved that company. I think it's an absolutely incredible company. Um, do you have anything that you're stealing? Okay, no, it's your it's your bone. Um, I always thought it was an incredible company, but um, it's it's just like they're they're really fabulous. And they also were talking to me about their, I think it's their omega three supplement, which I'm going to get for the dogs as well. So I was glad. It was one of those times where I was annoyed that I had to make the phone call, but then I was so glad that I did because I found out such great information. Um, that I wouldn't have known if I hadn't had that call. So anyway, it was a really fruitful phone call. Um, I love that company. Um, Nicey's niche says I'm getting my party Yorkie this weekend as well. Counting the days. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. That's awesome. You're going to be such a good mom. You've been doing so much research and it is just going to feel so great for you to have that little baby to love. I am so excited for you. Can't wait for updates. Leah says, Hey, um, she said, my puppy is going to the vet this week on Friday at 10. Also, we got pet insurance. It's not the one you got, but it's a very, very good insurance. Um, which insurance did you get, Leah? Uh, Nicey's niche says, last week, just the um, food for dogs posted on Facebook, the problems with the delivery. Oh, that's so interesting. I don't, I'm not really on Facebook. Um, I mean, I'm on it every once in a great while. I don't have it on my cell, my cell anymore. Long story, but the, ugh, they did something weird where it needed an authenticator and it, I, to let me do ads, it just made it really complicated. So not on there a lot anymore, but that's really good to know. Um, JW says, congratulations, Nicey. I'm on the wait list for a party Yorkie based on the breeder schedule. I'm hoping to welcome a pup late fall. Um, Leah says, I don't know what it is called, but she will find out. I think she's going to say, um, yeah, definitely just check. Um, it's one of the only pet insurances that I know Leah that doesn't have a cap on conditions. Um, so it's really worth checking just to make sure that there is no cap. Um, some of the conditions that dogs can get can be pretty expensive. Um, and one of my friends actually used to work for, it was actually my older brother's girlfriend used to work for, um, just not just food for dogs for Trupanion. And she told me that a lot of the other companies have caps. So they might say like this, you know, specific condition, you can only get paid $25,000 for or something like that, which sounds like a lot. But I, I know from experience from, from when my dog got sick that, um, it can go pretty quickly when, when your dog does get sick. So Anyway, my favorite is the Trupani, and I didn't really love the other companies that I looked into, but I mean, whichever one you feel most comfortable with, like you should always, obviously it's your, it's your dog. So you should always do whichever one you feel the very most comfortable with. Come on, Poppy. So I think I'm probably going to be changing my live stream schedule um, coming up and just, I may hop on still on Wednesdays, but I'm probably just going to switch to just doing Sundays. Um, I think one thing that I've realized is that I love my live streaming, but since it does take up some of my free time, I have more trouble getting my videos done and published during the week. Um, so I think I'll still probably just do um, some last minute ones sometimes, but I'm just not going to plan to always be on on Wednesdays because I want to leave a little bit more free time. Um, there's so many different videos that I want to make. 
So I made one the other day about my favorite kind of sneakers. I'm really excited about that. Um, I've got some other ones. I'm going to do one about um, giving my dogs a bath and exactly what I do, because I think that there are probably just some things that I've learned over the years that other people might not necessarily know about. This is, I do this every time, guys. I'm like, but where did I put the little comb that I just had? Let's see. Oh, Poppy, I know I have it. There we go. I found it, guys. I lose my comb at least once a grooming session, don't I? <laughs> Jennifer says, I got Trupanion based on research I did online before Bentley came home, and then I watched your video, and it made me feel good. Um, Jennifer, I think it's the best pet insurance, like, by far. I was really surprised by how many of them put a cap on things or just put up a big fuss about not paying for things. And Trupanion was just so amazing. They they just were like so incredible every step of the way. Oh, it just got sunny outside. It's still a little bit wet, but it's not raining anymore. That's so good. Maybe my dogs will get a walk today after all. I'm sure you can see it just got a little bit more light. Um, I'm so glad that you have the Trupanion though, Jennifer. Um, Avam says, hello and hello back. Says, I have a seven month old Yorkie who hates going out for a walk. He whines and wants me to hold him. What can I do to get him to enjoy going out, out for a walk? Mm, it's so things like that are so hard, honestly, to answer because I don't know every single part of um, what's happening, but I would just say that I, it's, it's really hard for me to know. I think for a problem like that, I would always say to get a dog trainer because there's so many variables in that. And I just don't know so many things. I mean, like exactly what age was your dog when you got it? When did you start trying to bring it outside? What are the circumstances outside? Is it very busy? Do you live in a city? Did anything happen that was traumatizing? Um, and so on and so forth. But um, I would also say that I wouldn't pick up your dog if it whines. Um, if if your dog is whining and you pick it up, I think it probably just likes that attention. It may not want to walk, but I think you're kind of reinforcing that behavior. But honestly, it's that's one of those things. Um, I would say that hiring a dog trainer would be the best, best thing. Um, and also picking up that book, I always, always recommend the book, um, The Art of Raising a Puppy. It's available on Amazon. I thought I linked to it, but then I think I was on my links the other day and I don't think it was there. So I need to relink to it. But um, I think that book is really great. There's just so many variables involved, but I would definitely say make sure that, you know, things are calm when you're bringing your puppy out. Make sure that um, there's a nice area to walk without too many scary dogs and things like that. I know that sometimes if there's too much going on, it might be a little bit overwhelming for a, a little puppy. Um, but also if your dog gets really used to being carried, it's probably just going to insist on continuing to be carried. Um, but that sounds like a dog trainer thing. I mean, I honestly have never had any problem. My dogs love going for walks. They don't want to be picked up. Um, but um, dog trainer, definitely dog trainer in your area. They should be really, really helpful. Um, and there's probably even some online dog trainers now. Um, I know I've been getting a ton of dog training questions and I would say that there's a lot of dog trainers online even. Um, so, so many different ways to answer that question. Um, Diana says, have you ever left your Yorkies with long hair? I want to keep my Yorkies hair long, but I'm worried his hair will get dirty with pee. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, I think it's really up to the individual. That's a great question, Diana. I personally, you know, don't want to deal with long hair. I think I have the best of both worlds with my dog's hair because they have this super cute little top knot and their faces look so cute. Um, but I think it's just really comfortable for them to be groomed and it's, it's really comfortable for their little bodies. When Lola was little, I wore, you know, I had her hair a little bit longer and um, I just feel like it was so much, this is just for me personally, I felt like it was uncomfortable for her because she has really tangly hair. So I felt like I was always just really trying to work through that hair. Um, so I personally feel like I didn't like it and I thought it was a lot of work. I mean, if you really want long hair, try it, but it's much, much more work. And yes, you'll be I mean, it would definitely get peed on more and things like that. It's just easier to wipe down a Yorkie when they don't have long hair. 
And I think at the end of the day, you know, when I got my babies, I was more like I had all the little clothes and accessories and things like that. And I think when I saw them in action, I just realized that Yorkies are just so, um, they're so like, they're tomboys, you know, they like to play, they like to roughhouse. And I felt like mine personally just did not want to constantly be brushed and have to deal with that. But it, it's up to you. I mean, you, if you only have one, it would be less brushing and things like that. I would just see how you feel and how the dog feels. You can always cut hair. So it's not like if it has long hair that you can never, you know, cut its hair off or anything. So try it and see if you like it, you know, guys, if you're just coming on, please don't forget to hit the like button. I know there's a bunch of people on there, but there's only three likes. So please don't forget. It makes such a big difference in my video. Um, YouTube just works it right into the algorithm. And when they see all those like buttons or all the uh, people hitting the likes, they show more people my videos. So please do um, tell me you like my video by hitting like or or say you don't like it by hitting dislike. That's fine, too. Whatever, um, whatever you feel, just be honest about that. Um, Jennifer says for anything training, there is a positive, um, <coughs> excuse me, guys, there is a, the allergies are on fire outside. Um, it says there is a positive reinforcement trainer called Zach George, who is amazing. He has a YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel, um, has videos on everything. I'm sure he has something to help with leash walking. Great recommendation. Thank you so much for jumping in with that, Jennifer. That was super helpful. Um, I love, I've been on my, um, I have been on the comments a little bit and I've seen some of you guys are awesome and you've been like, you know, linking to some of my videos when people ask questions or, um, answering different questions and things. And I just love that. It was super, super helpful. So thanks for helping me out with all those things. Thanks for answering that question. That's so nice of you. Um, Kim says, what have you found to be the best treats? Um, Kim, I honestly don't give my dog treats. So Lola, um, my littlest Yorkie has pancreatitis. And so I keep her feedings very specific. I always make sure her food is slightly warmed as with all of theirs, because I'm, you know, doing their feeding at the same time. Um, if I were feeding treats, I would definitely look, um, I know I recommend this book all the time, but I would look at the book, um, the truth about pet food. And I would choose treats from there to make sure that they're super helpful or rather they're super healthy and that you're giving your dogs the best treats. Um, I wouldn't give them most of the commercial brands because most of their treats are very low quality. Um, but she's got some really good foods listed there. Um, I think she just asked you to make a donation to get the ebook. So it's about $10, but, um, it is such a good ebook and it is absolutely amazing. Michaela is asking, what are some tips you have for a New Yorkie mom? I get mine next month and want to be prepared. Um, so my biggest tip, Michaela, is subscribe to my channel and look through my uploads and look under my, um, there's actually a Yorkie playlist and there's so many good videos. Like just watch those videos because there is awesome, awesome stuff. So I've got a video on Yorkie accessories. I've got a video on house training, on grooming Yorkie faces. Um, you name it. There's so many videos. There's more coming. So I'm going to have a, there's even a video about when you first bring your dog home. So I would definitely watch that one first, but I would watch as many of the videos as you can. Um, I personally love, like there's some kind of relaxing people that I watch and sometimes I even just fall asleep with their videos and I feel like it's still kind of subliminally I'm getting the information, but definitely watch the videos. Um, you know, some of the biggest things that I would say are know that it's going to be tiring, but that it's worth it. Um, it's going to be very, very tiring for a few months. It's going to be very rewarding. You're going to have a new best friend and it's going to be wonderful. Um, and I would also say be patient because house training takes much longer than most pet new pet, pet parents think it's going to take. So just be really, really patient and know that it is going to be a while, but it's going to be worth it. Um, those are my biggest tips, but I would watch the videos. There's a lot more stuff. There's so many different tips I could give you. Um, and be careful because your puppy is small. I mean, I know that's a small, small thing, but the house training video should be really helpful to you. And congratulations. That's so exciting. Um, Nicey's niche says Sam George is an excellent trainer. I follow him as well. As Jennifer mentioned, he has great videos. That's awesome that both of you both follow him. Um, Jasmine says my puppy just over three months acts like the Tasmanian devil when we put 
the harness on and it can take five minutes at a time. We used to repeat his name and try to encourage him, but now that I stay calm and silent while I do it, he's better. We're very careful not to catch his hair or anything. Maybe you can have some tips. Um, so what I did, it's funny, what I just did with my cat, Jasmine, because he wears a harness too, is I actually just got him used to wearing his harness in the house for about a half an hour at a time when I was playing with him so that it just became second nature for him to wear a harness. Um, that helped a lot and I know it's a cat, but I basically did the same thing when my dogs were little. Um, it makes a huge, huge difference for sure. Um, Michaela, absolutely. I'm so excited for you and I really appreciate you joining the live stream. I think you'll like some of the videos. I have a lot more videos to come, um, but I've just been making them little by little. And I think even for some of the larger videos, what I might do is break down some of the sections and make an individual video about some of the sections because there's just so much to be said about your true terriers. Um, and I know that as a new owner, I had no idea. I didn't know how often my dog needed to be groomed. Um, I just didn't know so much about them. And so, but also like my other tip is please don't give them any people food. Like don't feed them off the table. It's not nice. You don't want an overweight Yorkie and they're not supposed to have people food. So I know that that's like people have trouble um, really like, I don't know, not disciplining because you're not disciplining your dog, but just being, I don't know how to say it, doing the right thing for their dog sometimes because they feel like if their dog stares at them, they have to give it something. Um, and just, I think just knowing that sometimes your dog might stare and you might not give it what it wants, but that's still the very best thing for the dog. Um, Jasmine says, thank you. We're doing that. That's so smart. You're already doing it. You bought the art of raising a puppy after I recommended it. And I believe it says the same. Yes. There's so much good information in the book, the art of raising a puppy. I just think every single person should read that book. Um, it's incredible. It taught me a ton and, um, I just love it. So, so I had, um, I had zoom interviews with, um, there's going to be two, um, young ladies helping me. Uh, one is going to be helping me starting in the summertime. And then the other one is going away, going home to Texas for the summer. And then she'll be back and then she'll be helping me too. But, um, I had zoom interviews with both of them. They had already interviewed with Skylar and they're both really lovely people. I feel very safe having them in my home. So I did find my new assistant. I know one of them is going to be gone a little bit during the summertime. So I think my husband will have to be my assistant for a while. He'll have to help a bit, but um, I'm sure he can handle that. Um, anyway, so that's really exciting because I was very stressed about finding someone. You know, Skylar's still leaving, so I'm going to miss her a lot, but um, I'm happy that I found someone. So that's a good thing. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button, please. I see 16 people on and four likes, so I would love it. Sorry to be like reminding you so many times, but it makes such a big difference. Um, YouTube is like one. Oh, thank you. I see it going. That's so awesome. YouTube is just like one giant algorithm, and they're constantly watching every little metric of yours. And I have been working so hard to grow my YouTube. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're awesome. Thank you. I see it's like, 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 thank you. That, that is so helpful. Um, so I'm really working hard to grow my YouTube. I've got a lot of different goals for the new year. Um, and one of the things, so I'm, I'm working on really turning my YouTube into a business because I love doing it, but isn't it nice when you also get paid for what you do? Um, so I've been working on growing my YouTube. It's been growing super, super fast. I had a thousand subscribers as of February 15th. I'm now at 2,700. So I'll probably hit 3000 subscribers by next week. Um, and basically I'm working to get my ad revenue up because I want to do some renovations in the apartment and also just have a little bit less pressure to be at my salon all the time. So I can take a little bit more time off and be with my babies. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos and I actually think I'm going to be doing some little different mini training videos about how I trained my dogs. They're not super well trained to do obedience tricks, but just how I trained them to do certain things like not to try to jump up and get table food and so on and so forth. Um, just little things like that. Um, Diana, Diana Rodriguez says I'm in some Facebook groups and I'm sharing your YouTube. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. You're sharing my YouTube channel there. Um, we have to share all your knowledge with all the Yorkie owners. That's so funny. I, I like, I sometimes intermittently share my videos, 
Um, I'm on Yorkie Talk, which is a Yorkie forum that I really like, but I just get so busy that I forget to do it sometimes. So I really appreciate you sharing. It means so much to me. Um, I've been working so hard to grow my channel. Um, I couldn't do it with all the support from everybody that's on here. Um, but it's like, there's so many different facets to it. Um, and sometimes I forget to do it. So thank you for sharing it. I really, really appreciate that. That's so nice. Um, I like, I have a TikTok for the Yorkies. I feel like I just never post to it. I don't really get TikTok. It's, I think maybe I'm too old to understand TikTok. I don't know. But, um, anyway, Avam says, I wish it could be, I wish I could like more than once. I really love your channel. Oh my gosh, Avam, that was the nicest thing. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you love my channel. Um, I have so much fun with it. It is just, it's really fun to be able to share different things. Um, I do so much research for so many different things and it's fun to bring you guys that research and to talk about my babies that I love so, so much. So I'm really glad that you enjoy my channel. I was actually just watching, it's so funny. I was watching my house training video yesterday for a few minutes and I was like, this is a really good video. I really, I, I kind of like forget sometimes after I make the videos because I don't always once I post my videos, I don't usually rewatch them myself. Um, but anyway, I was watching my house training video and I was like, this is a good video. I really do like this. So um, I think I think that the uh, video on, um, I'm like looking at my hair, just sticking out over here. I think the video on washing Yorkies will be a really good one as well. Um, and I'm also probably going, I'm not going to be doing the grooming, but when my at home groomer comes, I think I'm probably going to do um, a video just showing the setup and things like that. I'm going to just keep a grooming table here for her, um, which will be really um, convenient. Um, Kathy, I'm so glad that you're enjoying your little baby. I can't believe it's been 20 years since you've had a puppy. It's definitely a lot of work, but it's so nice. And they're just, I mean, as we all know, they're the best companions. I love my Yorkies so much. This is my little poppy. And she is just, she's just the sweetest. It's funny because this is the time where I groom them, but she's just so happy to sit with me that I don't really want to move on to the next one because she's just enjoying having a little luxury mom time, which is so, so cute. Um, and Jasmine says, I'm obsessed with fitness videos since I go in and out of phases of getting fit, but I really want to make it more permanent. So it would be nice to see more videos sharing your advice routine. Jasmine, I'll definitely do um, more videos like sharing my fitness advice. It's so funny. I love my fitness stuff. And I'm for those of you that don't know, I'm really passionate about it. I um, did a lot of bikini competitions, but not not like stand on a bar bikini competitions. I did fitness bikini competitions. Um, and fitness has been a huge part of my life for a really long time. Um, it's just so funny. I feel like whenever I do my fitness ones, YouTube doesn't really pick up those videos that much. So I never, I really enjoy them. I just never know if it's really worth it because it doesn't seem like many people get too excited about those videos. Um, that said, I feel like I see a lot of people working much harder in the gym than I do and not getting great results. So I think it's about doing it in a, in a smart way where you get the most bang for your buck. Um, so I like to share that with people because I don't think you have to kill yourself in the gym to get great results. And I don't think you have to suffer with your meals to, um, to stay in shape and to stay lean. Um, I have been really, I mean, I've been working hard in the gym, but I also, I know you guys know I get my meals prepped for me, but they're definitely not low calorie meals. They're really delicious. And, um, I eat, I don't, I don't stuff myself. I eat until I'm comfortably, you know, satisfied. I wouldn't even say full. Um, and I usually, I usually have a one tequila, probably five nights a week. It's my little, it's my little wind down thing at night. I have like a half an organic orange squeezed into it. And I also have chocolate about three times a week. So I usually wind up polishing off an entire bag of, do you guys know the Justin's, um, or, and don't mind my elbow, by the way, I did hurt it at the gym the other day. Like I scratched it. Um, anyway, but I live a nice life and I eat a lot and I still have been getting into better shape. So I just don't think it has to be so terrible. I feel like everybody always thinks that you have to like live on lean cuisine to get in shape and no offense to lean cuisine, but it's not real food. Um, sorry. Um, so I just believe in 
enjoying yourself and eating delicious things and not killing yourself at the gym, but working hard and with a plan. And you can see great, great results. And then you feel so much better. Um, when I was younger, I ran all the time and I worked so hard and my knees were always killing me. And now I feel like I just don't, I mean, I work hard. Like when I was at the gym, see, there's my, let's see if you can see my elbow it has a little, it, I cut it doing hip thrust because I was doing really, really heavy hip thrust. But, um, Anyway, I like work very hard, but I don't kill myself. I only work out three times a week and I think you can stay in great shape that way. Um, and I feel like there's so many people that are, you know, spending like an hour and a half a day when they don't really have to. I mean, it's fine if that's what you want to do, but you can do it in less time. It doesn't take a ton of time. So I love sharing that. So I think I'm going to keep sharing that. Um, I just don't know. I feel like so many people just come from my Yorkie content and I don't know if that's like a total turnoff for people, but I feel like people can either watch videos or not watch them. Um, and I am so passionate about fitness. I think it's been a fountain of youth for me. It's been medicine to make me feel great all the time. Um, I just love it. And it gives me more energy to walk my dogs and take care of them and things like that. So it is a passion. Tiffany says, I look forward to the grooming and sneaker videos. Awesome, Tiffany. Um, I got really, really cute new sneakers and they were sitting for about, I think for like three weeks on a piece of furniture that's in my window for me to make the video. And finally, I just made it the other day. So I was pretty pleased with how it came out. I'm still trying to get used to my new camera. So I got the Canon, um, oh gosh, the Canon 90D. And I got it because I wanted to be able to look at things. Um, they have an app and I wanted to be able to look on my iPod or no, my iPad while I was filming. And it turns out that the Canon app is really terrible. And what would happen is you had to reconnect every single time you wanted to use the app, which was just kind of a pain. It adds like five to seven minutes onto your filming, which is a long time. And then on top of it, it was freezing the controls of my camera. So I called Canon customer support the other day and they're like, yeah, I mean, the app isn't great. It can freeze up your camera. So I wound up getting, um, I just have so much gear, you guys. I wound up getting an external monitor um, because I really want to be able to see that something bigger than my little LCD screen is like this big. And it's so hard to see when I'm filming to make sure that everything is like well framed and it looks good in the background. So anyway, one more piece of gear. Hopefully I won't need any more, um, but it definitely pays off for my videos. And then today I was watching and learning about color grading and things like that. So I think soon I'm probably going to upgrade my editing software so I can do a little bit more editing to them, but I really do enjoy making them. And I think Poppy wants to get down. So I'm going to put her down and now we're going to locate Lola. Come here, Lols. Lols. I'm going to go get Lola because she is not volunteering to be grooms. Hello, Lola. Oh, you're so pretty. Come on. She's like, no, I don't want to be rushed. I'm a scruffy face. Here she comes. What a beauty. What a little beauty. Yes, you are. Did you push the cat off the sofa? I think you did. JW says, I love Justin's peanut butter cups, especially if it's frozen. They're so good, JW. I mean, honestly, it's, it's almost like I... I have to be careful of how many bags of them I buy because I can just burn through the Justin's peanut butter cups. They're the most delicious thing. They're organic. Um, I think like, so I'm going to do, I'm almost done with my three month fitness challenge. And it, it's just a fitness challenge I was doing. My husband and I were both doing it um, to get in better shape. I am happy with my results. I still want more. Um, I was trying to build up my lower body a little bit more and it's still pretty small. So still working on that. So there's going to be another round, probably towards the end, I will cut back on my Justin's peanut butter cups, but for now they are serving me well, they're delicious. And I'm going to keep having them because they're like fueling my workouts and they're delicious. Oh, Lola, you're so cute. So the birds, I don't know if you guys can actually, you probably can't hear the birds. I'm not sure how much you can hear with this, but the birds are nice in Boston, but they are so loud. So they woke me up outside my window at, I think like 4.45 this morning because it's springtime and I believe they're mating right now. And I, I was reading about why they do it. Apparently male birds also chirp to keep away other male birds. So it's apparently it's not just to attract the females. It's also to tell the other male birds to go away, but I wish they would be quiet outside of my window. I was almost thinking of getting some earplugs because it was so hard to sleep. 
So I'm back to work tomorrow at my salon. It has been so busy, although this week was a little bit quieter because I think it is April vacation right now. Um, I feel like the world is getting a little bit better every single day. I don't know what you guys think, but things are definitely starting to open up. There's still um, an order to wear masks outside in Boston, which I feel like they could really stop doing that. I think if you're going to be really close to people, I mean, I don't think you're getting coronavirus outside no matter what. That's just me. But um, I think if you're going to be really close to someone, you could put on a mask. But I really miss just being able to go out for a walk and not wearing a mask because it's just so nice. It feels so good. So I'm hoping that they switch that really, really soon. And I think, I think that they will because the world is getting better every single day. Um, that's just kind of like what's going on. I just feel like it's like really nice when you can walk your dogs and not wear a mask um, for if anybody cares what I think, but Oh, Lola. Oh my goodness. Your little face is so messy. She always has the messiest face because she doesn't have teeth. Um, and she has food. How do you have food on your nose? Honey. Oh my goodness. She has food stuck to her nose. I think I'm going to have to wet a little tissue or something after to take that off that little baby. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What a baby. What a little baby you are. I don't know how you did that. I have no idea of how she got food stuck to her nose. She's so cute. Little lols. Oh. How long does it take you guys to groom each of your dogs? I'm so curious. Like, how much time do you spend grooming every day? And do you like to groom your dog while you watch Yorkie Storytime Live? Or do you groom them at a different time? I sometimes groom mine in the morning. It just depends. Um, I wind up grooming them a little bit later when I have the Yorkie Storytime Live. But I groomed them. Um, I groomed them kind of on the late side yesterday just because I wanted to take some pictures um, with the little sleep mask that I'd gotten from Etsy, which were so, so, so adorable. We went on a little walk yesterday to the river in Boston, and it was really nice, but um, there were so many people out. And there was a lady with um, three dogs and none of them were on a leash. And they were just like, I was kind of watching her and they were just, um, are you eating stuff from back there? I think you are. Okay, no. Alfie, you can't. Okay, I see that you have an elastic right there. We're going to take that away. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. i got to be able to get my hair up. There we go. You're going to go down. Yeah, it looks like he got his hands on an elastic, guys. Um, anyway. Definitely this lady was just like terrorizing everyone with her dogs um, and people were trying to have picnics and there were like kids on the ground and the dogs were just tearing through everybody's stuff and she was running after them and it was really strange. I don't know. It was just funny to watch. I was like, that's, that's not being a good dog owner. So I hope, I'm sure everybody keeps their dogs on a leash and just doesn't let them like run up to people and things like that. But it was Pretty crazy to watch someone with that many dogs and, and no leash. Um, I always wonder why why people do that. It's so strange. LJ, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Welcome. The pups say hello. I'm just grooming Lola. She really, really needed a grooming. And the allergies are, does this happen with any of you guys? So my dogs, um, when the allergies are high, when there's a ton of pollen outside, um, they get a lot more gunk in their eyes. And Lola seems to have, I would say, the biggest trouble with allergies. So she's had so, so, so much goop around her eyes, which can't be very comfortable. So it's especially important right now for us to do a really good grooming around her eyes because it just can't be comfy to have all that stuff around her eyes for sure. Tiffany says you, you brush your palm out every morning and it doesn't take long. That's so good. I feel like when you're on top of it, Tiffany, 
it really doesn't have to take a very long time. It probably takes me a little bit longer because I am not looking down the entire time, but I think in a, in a pinch, I can probably do it in like five minutes. I take a lot longer when I'm just chit chatting with everybody and things like that. Um, but I don't think it has to take me this long. I just kind of like take my time when I'm chatting with everyone. LJ says, I'm seeing that now, even with Maple being a puppy. Um, do you mean you're seeing the, um, the eye boogers, LJ? Sorry about that. Or the eye goop or whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's like, I, I follow the allergies just because I'm actually quite allergic to a lot of things. And I know they've been super, super high in Boston. Like last night I was going to sleep and I could just, I sleep with my window cracked a little bit. And something in the air was making me cough a little bit. So I was like, oh, probably better for me just to close my window so that I don't have tons and tons of allergies from this. Hi, Lola. Hold on. I'm going to get you two little pink elastics. Oh, no, it looks like purple. Oh, no. I hear thunder outside. Hmm, not looking good for us. That's okay. I guess if we miss one day of walking, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, I do try to get out there every day, but if we miss one day, maybe we'll just do like extra cuddles. Um, so I've actually been working on another video as well. Um, I'm just doing a video on a day in the life of the Yorkies. And I can't say that they've had the most eventful you know, day in the life kind of experiences lately, but I just thought that it might be fun to see them from waking up and when they get their dinner and fighting with their cat and things like that. So I think it's going to be a cute video. I think I'm going to do quite a few of them um, and I'll have my husband film some of them as well, which will be nice. It's always nice when there's someone else to film for me as well. Um, LJ says brought her to the vet today. She is 2.9 pounds and she is 14 weeks. And yes, to the eye stuff since she went out on Sunday. Yeah, it's just been so, so bad for Lola. She is just the most sensitive. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, oh, are you going to try to steal the elastics again? And he's so quiet and he's definitely back there. So he can steal things from me. I can tell. All right. We're going to get your little legs all brushed to Lola. Lola's hair. It's so funny. Alfie and Lola both get pretty tangly. Poppy has the most silky, gorgeous coat of any Yorkie I've ever seen. She is so, so easy to brush. Tiffany says, you really like the day in the life of pets videos. Oh, good. I am definitely going to do one. And I think it'll be really fun because they do so many fun things. Like sometimes I bring, I don't bring all of them to my hair salon because obviously it would just be too many dogs at the salon and then it wouldn't be a very you know, professional experience, if you will, for when people come in and obviously pay a lot of money to come see me. But um, people love it when I bring my dogs in. It's so cute. All of my clients go crazy and they all just want to pay attention to whoever I bring in. So I'm trying to think, I think it was, I think I brought Alfie in recently and he was a very, very good boy. So yeah, that is something that I'm going to be working on. It probably won't be a super long video, um, but I'm working on that and just trying to figure out where to set up my camera and things. So I think that will be really, really cute. I watched someone else's for inspiration and it was very interesting to see how she filmed hers. Um, she had a German shepherd, so totally different kind of dog. Um, it was so funny to actually watch some of hers because she was like getting her dog into the car and she had like a big ramp to her SUV. And I was like, gosh, I think having, it's just me. I love big dogs too. They're wonderful. But I do think that having little dogs is a lot easier. They're so portable. You can pick them up. You can put them into a little bag. I'm sorry, Lola, am I pulling you too much? Um, so I personally love to have little dogs, especially in the city. I just think it's so, so easy to do. Um, so I enjoy it very much. Oh, Lola. You're such a good girl. She really needs this. Oh, she, I spoke too soon. She's like, gonna go after the comb. 
Oh. <laughs> She's so sassy. Lola, we need to also get your legs and the rest of your body groomed. I know you're going to be mean to me. She's going to be feisty. Come on. Don't be feisty. I need to get your legs. It's important. It's not good when you have tangles. Come on. Seriously, JW, the elastics must be very tasty because I don't know why the, the um, dogs would go after them, but they really do. I think they just eat just about anything. I think this might be the best that I'm going to get for Lola's grooming. You are so feisty, aren't you? I want you to be extra pretty and untangled. Come on, let's get your little rump all untangled. That's a good girl. That's nice, it's okay. Good girl, she is the sassiest little dog. Well guys, I always love to say hello to you. I feel like it was a very quiet Wednesday today. Um, it wasn't the most eventful weekend, which is sometimes really, really nice. Um, but it's always nice to see you guys. I think it's getting really, really dark outside. So I think it's about to, yep, there's lightning. Um, we're about to get some lightning, but I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. If anybody has any questions before I close out the, um, the vlog, feel free to, to hop on and let me know. Um, never be shy about typing in a comment or a question or anything like that. It's always a very friendly, um, it's a very friendly live stream. So you can always jump in. Um, LJ says not pup related, but is that a dash shirt? Oh my gosh, LJ. That's yes. Um, so funny. Um, Jasmine was asking the same thing. So my shirt is from dash Miami. I love this shirt. Um, I wear it to the gym a lot or just like kind of walking around the house. I like anything that's loose that I can wear off the shoulder. Um, I also wear, um, I don't know for anyone that cares. I love very, very comfortable. I don't know if you guys have seen the Kubi bras, but I also wear those. They're just like very super comfortable, um, leisure, if you will. Um, they're so com I feel like if anything, I've just like started wearing tons of leisure wear. Um, things can be cute and comfortable, but I love my dash shirt. I actually got a second one on Poshmark because I liked the first one so much. So I have two dash shirts. I have one in Aspen and one here because it's one of my favorite gym shirts as well. Um, guys, I hope you have a great, great evening. I appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me and the babies today. Doesn't look like we're going to get um, a walk in, but I think we might just like cuddle up and watch a little movie for a while. Um, I will be back on Sunday. I'm going to be working on getting some new videos to you guys, and I will see you really soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful week wherever you are, and I hope that you stay healthy and stay beautiful. And if you're working on your fitness as well, like I am, I hope that you have a great week with that. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.